Oh man, a huge move for Phantom, up 9% at the time of recording this video, but more importantly, it's broke to the upside of a pattern which we've been monitoring for a while and could suggest some further higher price targets, which I'm going to share with you in this video. But first, we got to look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin has broken out of its wedge, which we've been tracking for quite a while now. You can see how beautifully it was respecting this descending wedge, and we can see we got a beautiful breakout to the upside here on the 4 hourly chart, and we can see what's happening now you can see that your initial price target for the breakout for this wedge will be at the top of the wedge if i move me out of the way you will see that on Bitcoin, we're currently at 48,800, but the top of the wedge will take us back to the 51,000 level. That's our initial price target here. But more importantly, if we zoom out on Bitcoin, where we really need to get to is one, this level at 54,000, and then to head back at our 56,800 mark categorized by this very important green box that I've drawn here. I should really turn it red because it's gonna be acting as resistance now. It's gonna be a very important level for us to break through, starting from this level here at 56, all the way to the top at 61. The quicker we can break through this and the more powerfully we can, the better we're gonna set up for future higher price targets. And you can remember, if I zoom out, you can see why this is such an important level categorized by how many times we were rejected here earlier in the year, okay? So we're hoping we were gonna hold this level. We weren't able to, we retraced all the way back down now it's important that when we start to build back up we can break through that level very clearly now if i show you the ema ribbon you can see that on the four hourly we have a couple of candles now switching to green above the ema ribbon this suggests we are now bullish on the four hourly chart but just about okay so we need to keep an eye on this now more importantly if i remove the ema ribbon and i bring back our vpvr you will see something very important you will see that we have just gotten through this very important busy built up area this is very important once we clear this mark particularly where we're trading at now around the forty nine thousand mark you will see there's some green space leading up to a little bit of resistance here at this yellow line which i've drawn at 54 but then the major next resistances come at the start and end of the boxes like i've shared at this level here starting at the green box at about 57,000, all the way up to your 61,500 mark. So we need to monitor this very carefully. We can see obviously on the four hour bullish, but if I switch to the daily on Bitcoin, let's quickly do that to show you. And we can see if I bring out your EMA ribbon again, you will see that we are still bearish, okay? We've been bearish ever since we flipped uh, back here in 18th November, and we still continue to be bearish. Until we close a daily candle above our EMA ribbon, we are still bearish on the daily time frame. So even though on the four hourly chart, this is a great breakout and it will help some of our altcoins, which we're gonna look at now, we have to be very cautious. One final thing before I move on to Phantom and show you what's going on Phantom, you need to remember that on this chart specifically, you can see it looks like we're going for a retest. This is very normal in technical analysis. When you get a breakout from a pattern, you can come back down and retest the, the, uh, the, the resistance turn support, okay? So we need to see that we turn this line into support. And what I mean by that is we want to come back around, test and bounce and head higher to a higher price, price target. That's what we're looking for. On that bounce, then you can build your position and gain further bullishness. But if you see that this just ends up being a fake out, we end up back in the downward channel, that's what we need to watch out for, okay, guys? So keep an eye on this. It's very important now we're getting that little bit of curling off. If we can come test that yellow line and bounce back off and create a new high above where we're at, which is above where we're at uh, here, let's just show you, at about 49.6, 49,600, then we're in to create higher highs and create a bit of a reversal pattern towards an upward trend. So what is going on with Phantom? Because I know you guys have tuned in to see what is going on with Phantom. And what you can see is thanks to Bitcoin, and like I said, guys, I've been saying this for a long time now, the all coins are still being led by Bitcoin. Anyone who's in denial of that, please understand this is how it works. Phantom is not gonna go up unless Bitcoin's having a good mood right now, unless there's something fundamental in terms of catalyst. And what we can see is now Phantom was creating its downward pattern pattern as well and we were following this for a while we could see we're in this descending wedge and we're waiting for a breakout to the upside now what you could see we were forming this inverse head and shoulders pattern we got sent back down and i said we we're going to head back to the neckline again exactly as we predicted has happened we went to the neckline again and this time on the second time of asking so just, let's just recap that so left shoulder head right shoulder rejected went back up for the second tip and now we seem to be getting our breakout again i want to wait for a bit of a retest i'm happy for it to retest before heading back higher you can see this is a very important level on the bpr vr which we're fighting if we can clear the next important mark here guys this important level which you can see we wicked above and got sent back down the bears are sitting here at a dollar 65 we know this from historical levels this is the very important level we need to break above this 
get above the high of the wedge and then head towards $1.79. Once we're through $1.79, you can then see the point at $1.94 where we can start getting some volume back in, okay? So this is the green space we want to operate in, but first we have to get above $1.65. Don't be surprised if we get a little bit of reddening, just coming back down to even test the neckline, even as far as $1.43 based on this technical, uh, and then a head back higher to the upside. Now, like I said, we're not out we weren't out of the woods yet until we got a higher high above this level which we have right now now we need to head to the top of this wedge if i bring out the ema ribbon just to show you guys and remove the vpvr you can see now on the four hourly we are in bullish mode right so again we flip the ema on our four hourly so we're bullish on the four hourly chart fantastic but just as a word of caution on the daily we continue to be negative even though that is a very strong daily candle here by phantom fantastic breakout again like i said you can see which altcoins are really responsible to Bitcoin. And we know there's a bunch of risk on mindset. I mentioned there was a bunch of risk off due to the fears of Omicron. Yesterday we had Biden speaking. He said, we're not going to go for more lockdowns. We're more prepared this time, etc., etc." The market took to that well. We saw a rally in stocks. We saw a rally in S&P. We saw the markets come down, calm down and volatility come to the downside. And that's why risk comes back on for things like Bitcoin and therefore your altcoins, right? Because remember, there's a lot of institutional investors in Bitcoin, so they can move that market. And that is what then leads us to see some of uh, our altcoins follow what Bitcoin does. Now, what we want to see is we're not bullish on the daily yet on phantom until we clear our ema ribbon okay so we need to close above this ema ribbon we're quite well off we need a good couple of days here before we can do that but again that's going to be dictated by bitcoin so the important levels we want to watch for phantom are like i said 165 179 and 194 on the screen line okay very important levels again just to remind you if i bring out the vpvr you can see we were just in a very important level in terms of volume we've got a little bit of green space here if we can break through and then we're going to face a bunch of resistance again okay so that's what we're expecting from phantom so there you have it guys there's your update on what is going on with phantom if you appreciate this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and like i said if you enjoy this blend between technicals and fundamentals that's what i'm committed to bringing to you on this channel don't forget to click the link in the pinned comment below that's the link to our free discord server okay so head over into that discord meet like-minded people and again the aim of the game is just to meet people who can help you build your psychology and build your conviction in some of your in your high plays right in your high conviction bets that's the key here you'll hear me talking about that a lot we need to build conviction we need to understand what projects is it we like what narratives are we following and then we need to build our positions around that that's the key that there's nothing else right now you need to ask yourself when this happened when phantom fell from 350 all the way down to you know as the lows here of 116 how did you feel did you feel you were wrong were you did you panic sell if you did fine at least acknowledge it and be like i panic sold why did i panic sell did i not have enough conviction did i need the market to give me the affirmation that i'm in a great project well, you know what happened analyze it understand what went wrong and let's do better next time because that's what this is about because when that retraced to 116 i told you guys i was buying more why because i have high conviction not just in the layer one space but in phantom as a whole as well so again hopefully you guys can pick up that message not just for phantom but for all your favorite coins build conviction in times of uncertainty double down on your high conviction plays don't carry any of that nonsense because in a bull market any coin can do well right so really head to your high conviction plays consolidate and then in a bull market you can come back out and make more risky bets okay but in the in times where the market is retracing 40 50 percent you need to be in your high conviction place hope you enjoy hope you guys enjoyed this update thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one